Nadszedł czas zmiany, przejścia do prawdziwego działania Wszechświata. I nadszedł czas, aby zrozumieć, że używamy stanu materii, by osiągnąć poziom zrozumienia duszy człowieka. Teraz rozumiesz, być może, dlaczego Kreator wysłał swoich posłańców w imię tego, co miałeś. To oni przynoszą uszy, aby można było ich użyć, gdy nadejdzie czas Mesjasza. Mogę nauczyć duszę i przesłanie. Nie by się przeciwstawiać, ale poprzez ich zrozumienie przez tych, którzy stali się Mesjaszami, aby dawać ze swoich dusz, aby ich elewować. Zadanie stało się łatwe. Szkoła jest tutaj i uczniowie są tutaj w oddaniu. Wtedy nie będzie żadnej walki między tym, co nazywają muzułmanami a chrześcijanami. Baranek i lew będą jeść i spać w tym samym gnieździe. Chrześcijanie i muzułmanie będą spać i modlić się w meczecie, w tym samym kościele, w imię ich dusz. Nie w imię religii, które są używane do tworzenia tak wielu konfliktów dla korzyści tych, którzy byli hiperaktywnymi dziećmi. Nadszedł czas, czas zmian jest tutaj. I jak powiedziałem, moje życzenie jest moim rozkazem. Jeśli pragniesz ujrzeć pokój, droga pokoju jest wyłożona bardzo wyraźnie. To dusza świadomości zbiorowej. Poprzez dawanie stworzy tą pozycję zmiany. Nic innego. W duszy człowieka nie ma długopisu. Jestem pewien, że po wejściu do społeczności uniwersalnej nigdy nie zobaczysz niczego zapisanego, ale równowagę pól duszy egzystencji. Staraj się być na tyle pokornym, aby nie stać się aroganckim w mocy, którą zrozumiałeś i posiadłeś. Inaczej wpadniesz w tą samą ścieżkę kościoła i meczetu. To jest to, co obiecaliśmy i to właśnie dostarczyliśmy. Musimy zrozumieć działanie duszy i musimy zrozumieć, że dusza człowieka jest gwiazdą w kosmosie Wszechświata. Jeśli porównamy duszę człowieka i tak wielu nas, 7 miliardów w jednym zbiorze, Ziemia jest jak galaktyka z tak wieloma gwiazdami. Kiedy patrzymy w głąb Wszechświata, widzimy galaktyki z setkami milionów gwiazd. Podobnie jest z planetą Ziemią. Niesie 7 miliardów pięknych gwiazd, które są duszą człowieka. Niesie z sobą duszę tak wielu trylionów zwierząt, roślin i wszystkiego innego. Jeśli więc patrzą ci, którzy nie widzą fizyczności Ziemi, i jej zawartości, co widzą? Widzą galaktykę z wielką ilością pięknych, świecących świateł. Każda według swojej siły. Każda zgodnie ze swoją pozycją. Niemowlę ma piękną duszę, podobnie jak staruszek. Dla tych niefizycznych, którzy nie widzą fizycznego wymiaru tej planety, ale widzą siłę pola, jesteśmy gromadami gwiazd. Ludzka rasa, każda pojedyncza dusza, nikt z daleka nie widzi. To jest dusza rybaka, to jest dusza kosmologa, to jest dusza prezydenta. 
Wszystkie świecą bez względu na fizyczność. To jest magia. O to, co nowa nauka musi przynieść człowiekowi. Kiedy patrzymy przez naszą duszę, widzimy tylko gwiazdy w innych duszach. I to jest przełom. To jest zrozumienie. Na tym właśnie polegają te wszystkie nauki. Dojście do dojrzałości następnego poziomu, aby zrozumieć daleki kosmos. Wszechświat jest ostrygą dla tych dusz, które służą. Wtedy człowiek jest gotowy do wejścia w kosmos. Wtedy człowiek jest gotowy, aby stać się częścią uniwersalnej społeczności, która została obiecana. Nigdy nie obiecywałem wam nieba. Zawsze obiecywałem wam elewację człowieka, aby przyłączył się do rodziny. A teraz macie klucz. To wy musicie otworzyć drzwi, aby zrozumieć, że mogę elewować duszę tych ludzi lub milionów innych dusz, że fizyczne życie na tej planecie zmieni się. Wtedy jestem godny bycia częścią społeczności uniwersalnej, by być, aby służyć, aby się rozwijać, by być tam, aby być częścią, że w cyklu życia wszechświata staje się w byciu częścią, staje się częścią totalności. Kiedy człowiek osiągnie ten punkt, pojawi się nowy wymiar w sile duszy człowieka, który jest poza wyobrażeniem zrozumienia życia fizycznego. To jest brama do otwarcia nowego życia w nowym wymiarze, co jest poza wyobrażeniem tego, co mogliście nazwać nowym początkiem, nowym cyklem, gdzie ten cykl niesie ze sobą źródło stworzenia życia we Wszechświecie i Unikosie. To jest elewacja duszy, aby służyć. Stała się kluczem. Nie tron życia fizycznego. Czas jest odpowiedni, nadszedł czas, aby człowiek przeszedł przez ten proces. Witamy wszystkich na 378 warsztatach poszukiwaczy wiedzy w języku polskim w czwartek 9 lipca 2020 roku. Tematem jest kolejny warsztat 335, a czas przetłumaczony na dzisiaj to jest od 3 minut do 45 minut. Później 5 minut przerwy od 50 do 54 i od godziny do godziny 43, w tym są krótkie takie dwuminutowe przerwy, chyba dwie czy trzy. A po warsztacie zapraszam do rozmów, zadawania pytań, na które postaramy się odpowiedzieć. Tak więc zapraszam do wysłuchania i obejrzenia. My name is Rick Cramond. I'll be a host today. And of course, we are joined with Mr. Mayran Kesh of the Kesh Foundation. And I think he's ready for yet another knowledge seeking workshop here today. Hello, Mr. Kesh. We, we hear you there. Good morning. Good day to you, as usual, wherever and whenever you listen to this series of knowledge seekers. 
as many of us been waiting to see how we battle with what we call the corona and the rest of it, as we promised the Keshe Foundation supporters around the world to keep everything intact and go to the next step of what we call battling with this situation. As we promised you, we kept our promise. On Tuesday, the 30th of June, 2020, documents were submitted to the report, what we call the article, which was to be published, has been released to four major government in the past two days. The United States ambassador has received the document. The Prime Minister, leading European nation, has received the document. The Chinese ambassador and ambassador of the Federation of Russia has received the document. And we're waiting the three-day lapse, as we have given, for us to know the position of the United States in respect to the new discovery. The press release has been released to the Keshe Foundation team to issue and to release today, if they can do so. Otherwise, as the 4th of July approaches, and it's a long weekend, they will be able to release it the next week. According to the report, Keshe Foundation trial by the statistics set up by WHO stands at 95% success rate which totally covers and makes it implementable by WHO. The report is in detail in every aspect of the introduction of technology, in the list of scientists and scientific organizations who have supported the data from all over the world, and it was done with the hard work and the relentless work of the Education Foundation, Ella, to make sure it's submitted in perfect condition to the nations. In the next two to three days, we wait the response of the United States, European community, Chinese government and the Russian government. And thereon, next week, we release the documents to every nation. There is a reason we are doing this one, is important for us. And as we said, when we met the American officials, they said, this is a gift from the Iranian nation, we cannot refuse. We use the process as part of the peace, and this is how we started it. We've been requested by the Office of Seminar Science of Khamenei of Iran to stay reserved and do not disclose anything till the final decisions is made in Iran, Keshe Foundation, and the United States and European community in how we will go to the next step. The implementation of this technology through the report release makes corona in every shape and form possible to control without any, without any, what we call injections or whatever you want to call it. And the data is so conclusive that in the most probably few days it will be implemented in a number of the governments. And this is thanks to all of you as the knowledge seekers, especially the Iranian knowledge seekers of the Keshe Foundation in Iran or across Iran. We state correct to our ethos and the document is written on behalf of the Iranian nation and all the list of the supporters of the program. Everyone who has been around and helped across the Iranian support team, the universities, the doctors, the researchers, all plus the universities have been credited in the report. There is no way that this report could be refused by any nation, as the statistic is according to the United, what we call WHO standard and certification. In the next few days, we wait until political negotiations are completed 
And then we go to the next step of how collectively with Iran heading this process will take shape. If the United States or European community refuse to acknowledge, Iran will release accordingly the totality of the report internationally. Then this goes back on the, what I call, we've done this before together, the knowledge together. <clears throat> if we do not see progress in a rapid way within the government, within the structure of the government, we release the documents to the knowledge seekers to go ahead and plaster it everywhere you want. But there is a reason we are doing it. This is part of the knowledge in exchange for peace and has to be that way. And it will stay according to the ethos of the Keshe Foundation. The report is amazingly transparent and in every shape or form, United States government will have every access to talk to the Iranian scientists to confirm to Iranian leadership on the direct line between Tehran and the White House. This communication will not go through the office of the Iranian president. It will be done directly to the Officer Eminent, His Eminent Sahaja Khamenei of Iran as the people of Iran with the leadership has taken the step as the Ministry of Health and the government's decision was to hide and do not release because we do not know what the Americans do when we, once we help them and they will start more attack on Iran. This is not the policy of Keshe Foundation and as we see the line taken by the Iranian leadership at the highest level. We use this position as a position of peace and as I have negotiated with the Iranian government, Keshe Foundation will stay in the realm of negotiation all the way through. This is the condition we agreed with the Iranian officials that this time Keshe Foundation team, being the head of the Keshe Foundation and myself and two more people will join us from the Iranian government's officials of the Keshe Foundation will be the leading team plus what we call the support team and the officers from the Officer of Ayatollah Khamenei to be present in these negotiations with any government. This is important. As the Keshe Foundation, head of the Keshe Foundation, we had these negotiations. I stay as a scientist attached to, as I'm too much attached to development and it can jeopardize negotiations. For this reason, we stay totally neutral and negotiations will be headed by the head of the Keshe Foundation on behalf of all of us. And this is important that we all understand that as we take shape, the negotiations has to be totally neutral. We negotiate on the basis of peace and knowledge in exchange for peace. At the same time, bringing a new direction and dimension in world diplomacy where scientists have a say in what happens to all of us when it comes to vital points like this. As many of you could be aware, it is important that what we say in this report is a complete understanding and can be supported by world scientists. In this way, we stay correct. In this way, we stay totally in line with the international decisions made and in so many ways at the beginning and during the negotiation once I feel perfectly okay that it can go ahead I step down and the Iranian government will take position to negotiate for the next steps of the knowledge transfer which is the space technology which will come from the Iranian scientists and universities for transfer to the rest of us. What we see is development of new technology and creations of tens of millions of new jobs. We kept this away on the basis that we had the evidence we could do, now we have the evidence. We see a new cycle of jobs to be created upon these negotiations. As many of you were hoping this will be done very fast, you have to understand mankind has been as each other's truth for centuries to talk peace, closing factories of arms will not happen so easy.
I am what I call a seasoned diplomatic negotiator. And through this, I know one fact. Once even we get the okay from the White House, the European community, all these has to go through what I call lawmakers, ratification by the parliaments and senate, and then application. The speed of application, unless it goes through presidential decree, will be delayed. To our understanding, it needs a rapid approval of the White House to be ratified for application in the United States. As we are aware, in the past week, hundreds of thousands of Americans have caught the virus, and many of them will die. Every day, delay by the White House to implement this technology is lives in thousands. And so, once we go through this process, once we have the three-day lapse, and we can get it released on the basis of the Keshe Foundation Global Operation in the United States, Iranian universities and hospitals, the leadership of Iran, there is no reason for any nation not to take up. As is the policy of the Keshe Foundation, we share the document worldwide with the governments. You all been through this with me. When we released the key some years ago, we gave it to the government. Then we brought it to the nation. This time, we done it totally the opposite way. We took it to the nation of Iran and the rest of your knowledge seekers who are using it. And now we're taking it to government to say the people have done it. You want to go with us or we take it over? Last time they had a priority, this time nations took priority. I would like to thank the whole of the Iranian Keshe Foundation supporting. The whole of what we call those who were medical supports, the doctors, and especially the head of the research at Iran National Defense University. And at the same time, to the head of the statistics from Iran University that they supported to do this due diligence on the statistics for over six weeks, that there is no way any government, any what we call a statistical data could be disputed. It verifies and validates every condition set up by WHO and as it has shown, over 95% success in some aspects of the process, it's up over 99% success. Many of you were waiting, and a lot of people you, you wrote to me that you are under pressure. We have done what we said. Tuesday was a release day, we released it. Now we have to wait for the cycle to take place, Sometimes next week, and even if we reach faster approval within the next few days, we will release announcement on the Cash Foundation, especially Institute Knowledge Seekers platform, that the success has been achieved. Now it's in the hand of President Trump, in the hand of the what we call the European leadership and the Chinese leadership. The Chinese are familiar with it because they have already used it and the Russians have been well involved in it for some times. Now we have released the key, the method which needs to be used. And this is important for us. We have covered every aspect of it, some 25 different ways all the organs, all the possibilities of the influencing the system in this report and how to be processed. All the protocols for case by case is well written and is well documented. We have not tried to put anything out. And in a way in the report, we have thought how to make everything. It's not just the medical report. The way the Head of the Keshe Foundation has written this report covers every aspect, how to make the ganses, how data is validated, what is the background with it, all the certifications over the past years we have accumulated on application of the water or everything else. 
is all backed up and it's all within the paper. And this is the way it will stay. As I stepped on as the head of the Keshe Foundation some four years ago, we handed over to Ella as the head of the Keshe Foundation. As I stepped on totally from the front line in the next few months, you have to accept this ultimate bomb point that sits with the head of the Keshe Foundation in Europe, Ella, and the head of the Keshe Foundation in China, Bangli. And this is the way it will be set up. I go back to research and the research from now on that we achieve this position will become delicious. New technologies, new knowledge, new understanding, heading this space technology has been given to what we call one of the most competent men in the Cash Foundation that he will take it through. A standing will move from the head of the Cash Foundation from the internet webmastership to see the transition between knowledge within Iran and Europe and America. And this will bring a new tools to us that we become more flexible to negotiate and develop the technology and make sure does not stay with the hand of one nation. If we make the system to become one nation, then we run into the problem. We bring, we create giants that this time we cannot control. It's the responsibility of Stanley to make sure knowledge in Iran, in Europe and America and China is continuously flowing in a smooth way and no nation takes superiority on the other nation. This is the way we guarantee peace. And this is the way we see the next step in development of the technology. But at the same time, it becomes the responsibility of all of us to move in the right direction, to make sure this time we don't break the law and we don't create wars. It will be dissipated in such a way that we make sure that every man on this planet has access to it. Does it become exclusivity of white, black, yellow, American, Chinese or African? This is one of the toughest jobs for the two heads of the Keshe Foundation to make sure the knowledge is spread and the use of the Universal Council members to make sure every nation and language they cover is covered systematically by the knowledge. You got to understand who breaks the, the speed of light will have a superiority to take over another nation. The minute we can do, all nations should have. This is a part of the toughest part for the heads of the foundation to negotiate. And at the same time, the Universal Council members to make sure this is carried out to its absolute best. Any nation, big or small, falls behind, becomes prisoner to the others. It's the responsibility of Keshe Foundation knowledge seekers to make sure as the knowledge is set out correctly, it is carried out correctly. It is done by all nations. The way we set up, especially like the internet chat rooms on the Zoom and Telegram, all of you sit in different what we call chat rooms, so you know what is happening. I deliberately set it up this way. I give you all nationality or what you call by language, but at the same time, I give you a common ground that everybody gets blasted everywhere. So we have set up that there is no secrecy, there is no hidden agenda, and as you are in many, many groups, as you see a new knowledge, you just transfer. You make sure everyone has access to it. And this is the way we keep the ATS up. No certification, no patent rights. Understanding the new technology will bring its own changes. And at the same time, these changes will bring many, many changes for humanity. It will change the arena of the politics beyond imagination. As we understand in one way, that world leaders all compete to make life better for their citizens through the new technology, investments, and not wars. And this is something human race has not done for many, many, many years. 
thousands of years. The last time we saw peace and development of technologies is goes back to Pharaoh time. Those days, knowledge was the most important things as there was peace on the land. We saw the same thing with the Persian Empire. The glory came when there were peace and where there was justice. This will carry on the same. The knowledge is the responsibility of the Universal Council and the head of the Keshe Foundation to make sure knowledge is dissipated rapidly across the world. Nobody takes advantage. I did not give a concession to Iranians to hold at least six months advantage time. Because in six months, six months with such a technology and investment, one nation takes over the other and we run into the same problem table. And then we have to negotiate. There should be never negotiation for peace as there will be no war and there should be no advantage in development and what I call spread of the knowledge across this planet. One of the main targets from now on, once we accomplish this next week, will be the development of space technology. As I said to the knowledge seekers in the past few days, Man should be in deep space, or at least start the first flight by 21st of March 2021. This is our target. We have some 40 million scientists around the world unemployed. They cannot sell arms, they cannot work. Now we can put them back to work, and we teach them. And using the new understanding of the GANS technology, you can cuddle, you can kiss, you can shake hand, you can eat from the same cup, you can breathe in the same lips, you don't need the social distancing, and we go back to normality. We have set out this fully laid out in the report to the nations. We foresee new problems, and now that we see in past 48 hours, scientists confirm genetic deformations and change is imminent. Scientists are reporting since yesterday that they see the first cycle of gene modification or genetic modification will come around September, October of this year. They expect 350 modification of genes. And if you go in the teaching past few months, we always said the biggest problem will be when the gene modification will come. And this will create and new dimensions of problem. But this, for us, as knowledge seekers, is zero. Because we have all the facilities, and all the understanding to move, to understand, we can use the technology, the enhancement units. What we call the creation of new dimensions of systems and technologies will come from knowledge seekers and not from the Keshe Foundation as a main research organization. You will extend it, you will develop it, you will share it, and at the same time, it will be what you achieve for the whole of humanity and not just for a few. In this process, we expect a lot of progress. We expect massive, massive development. And at the same time, no nation should take privilege, doesn't matter by race, by blood, or whatever, over the other. It's the responsibility of the Universal Council to make sure of that. And it's their job with the work with the Earth Council members members to see the distribution of the knowledge and the wealth of the Keshe Foundation, that investment is done in all nations at the same time. The way I see it in years to come, the only way man will work is for the pleasure. You decide to stay home 24 hours a day, 365 days, you will not die of hunger. You will not die of illness. It's just you will die, definitely die of boredom. 
and that's the only thing you have to overcome. And what we did, interesting, we proven the environment of ganses can lead and sustain life in a unwanted but beautiful experience, it's an experiment in the past few weeks. The rooms which are filled in with ganses, plants have survived over five months of no water. Usually they die within the first two weeks. They even have flowered, beautiful flowers. So, if the plants have enjoyed the time with ganses, what now, why not the human race? Why not the next step in development of the knowledge? Why not that we all can survive all systems and all understandings and all the problems which humanity will bring for mankind? And then at the same time, we solve these things. I would like to know if you have any questions before we go into the teaching. I think I've been talking to myself. No, we hear you, Mr. Kish. Are there any questions? Because this is your time. We have worked on behalf of knowledge seekers to bring this to this point. And I thank sincerely the Keshe Foundation team in Iran. They have worked relentlessly for months to get this done. And it cannot be done. A lot of you have a lot of expectation, but the expectation comes from lack of knowledge. And in so many ways, and in so many ways, we need to understand that from now on we work as one nation and we save and work for one planet and in one way or another there should be no breakdown in communications, in trust in human race and at the same time understanding the totality of all the works. <coughs> Okay, we have um, several hands up here. Uh, Gatwa, I'll allow you to go ahead there. And we have Mark and Alex after, sorry, Mark. The you is all of us. It's in the way we lost some souls, and in the way we developed some new souls. But uh, overall, is the success for humanity. Uh, Mr. Kesh, what is the um, um, what's happening with the possibility of publishing in a scientific journal? Is that still happening, or is that uh, yes, yes, yes? One of the reasons we are not releasing the paper. And it's only released on a what we call controlled way, is for waiting the publication. In a way, what the Iranian officials say, you have already made it official. We just need to publish it in what we call the plasma time. As one of the leading Iranian officials said, nobody can claim it except your own organization. It has become already a scientific. Journal. Why do you need somebody else to do it? So, we we are waiting for some news. This development will start from sometime today. Today, tomorrow, 
White House has to respond. White House has to stand firm. Are they going to stop? 100,000 infections like a few days ago in California per day. But their statistics is 10% losses of life, which means every hour, around 50 Americans, every minute one American is dying of Corona in one state. And according to the statistic, the 100,000 will die, 90% of them within the next five years from the disease. If the new processes are not developed, understand the new technology. So when you have 100,000 and you have 90,000 people dead, you can understand. It's very easily, around about 4,000 people per hour, which infected two days ago will die within the next four years, five years from infections in different form. We just have to understand there was a lot of investments by many governments and many officials to make sure this disaster becomes control tool for their organizations and their path of belief. Now with this breakthrough, all the plans, as we said, has hit the fan, if you know what I mean in English language. There is a lot of manure they have to clean up. And you have to understand, the world will not stand this atrocity. The Gates family, Rush, Rock of Pro, the Rothschild, they all will, brought, will be brought down. When you plan a coup, and the coup fails, you are responsible for it. This time the coup d'etat and the coup has cost over one and a half to three million people. But any standard is a genocide. That's not our job. The way we have to do is to make sure that the peace stands, the technology stands, and the way the what we call distribution of knowledge to space completes itself. As I said, a cost shouldn't ally with so much experience should not cost a dollar or one euro, which one of those who was around Cash Foundation worked so hard had to pay. He could not claim a euro, and it cost him his life. And the beauty of it is, it costs less than a few cents to save a life. If you find a piece of copper, and you find a piece of zinc, you save the life. One is in the pipelines, and one is in the electricity bill what you call your wires. What else do you want? As one of the examination and tests we did, you cannot find salt. The salt of body of the man is your urine you can use. You will produce the perfect gas. And it works. It's been tested, I know. I tested it 10 years ago. If you want to know how you mix it, what's going to be the mixture, human mixture of blood and urine salt is one of the best levels you can achieve exactly to match your body. There we go, another secret is out of the back. Don't forget, for diseases where we make gases, we use urine. Many of the doctors we support, we tell them. This is where you see the failures. So, now, don't say Mr. Cash said, piss in the pot. But if you collect it, it will become a piece in life. And it's natural. The dilution is correct, because that's key balance with the body of the man. 
don't forget many world leaders, even the beloved Indian leader, he always drank his first urine in the morning. Gandhi was one of the biggest followers. It's traditional in the far east. So it should not be something and many people in the West use the same. You take, you put in the body what is already consumed, what is already been converted. Many of you always said, what salt, what gases? Now you collect. Many, many people around the world use urine for even watering plants. Some of our listeners notice because they know their mother uses it for watering the plants. Because it's natural. So, next time, you want a balanced body protein, ganses, amino acid, perfect ganses to match your own body. Yep. Use it. Now you understand why sometimes I'm so successful. Because I don't use urine, but I know the exact measure of all the salts which I use in the system. <clears throat> Maybe on the back of the success of the report, before end of July, we will show the enhancement unit in the beautiful city of Tehran. Our team are working on it. It has a lot of problems. We are still modifying pieces. And we are changing it from a sliding door to a aircraft cockpit door, which makes it easier for anyone to get in. And the new system shows easier way to handle. Any other question? Yes, we have um, Ike here with a question, and I think he had a question in the Q and A regarding pol uh, what if they play politics with it. But go ahead, um, Ike. Uh, uh, correlations, Mr. Cash. Uh, correlations to everybody. Uh, yes, what if they play politics with it? You know, it's, it's now. Can you repeat? I said, what if they play politics with what you submitted to the White House? What if they play politics with well, it? doesn't matter. He won't be in the office. If he puts his, his personal vendettas and personal priority over the nation, we release it. You have access to one of the biggest radio stations around the world, sir. You've been negotiating with them on behalf of the Gates Foundation for weeks. I'll give you that document, they kiss your hand. Am I yeah, correct? that's what I thought. That's, uh, we can be simultaneous because uh, we don't yes. want to wait around for this. Exactly. But you have to understand, we is not to share the knowledge, it's correcting a lot of mistakes of the past. We need, as part of negotiating, to abandon all sanctions on all nations, not just Iran. What is made up by American sanctions has to be in the book of history of man. 
we have to find a way to negotiate with North Korea. We have to find a way to negotiate with every nation through new technology. We are not negotiating for all these sanctions to go just for Iran. It has to become a freedom for human race. And this is the way I look at it. And I know the Iranian leadership and many world leaders will stand behind it. You got to understand, <coughs> we have some of the most advanced naval ships, nuclear, non-nuclear, nuclear weapon, nuclear engines. Where are they? How many soldiers are serving on them? If you look at the American Navy, only by need, officers who need to be on duty are in duty. We can't even bring army and soldiers and navies together. The only way left is to hit each other with missiles. That's it. That's the only option left to America. And there's one bad news, as they saw it, as I always said, when you have a friend send you a gift, you don't need it. You send it back to where it came from because they might have a need for it. You choose Washington, New York, Los Angeles, Chicago. This time, we'll send it back where we need, what we think will be needed because we didn't send it. We don't need a gift. We gave a gift of life and it stays that way. With the process which has come, end of all leaderships and wars has stopped. The only thing is, those who were trying to find a way to use vaccines and the rest to control humanity, now they have to answer for genocide. The biggest problem is, and I say one of the biggest problems for the Keshe Foundation, knowledge secrets is, when I release it next week, how fast is your finger on your computer and how many emails can you send to your family, to your friend, to the press, to the television, and to all the people who are contaminated across the world, from India, China, South Africa, United States, Iran. I stand and I count, and the Iranian presidents become accountable for misconduct in not allowing the technology for personal financial benefit to be released some four weeks ago. Minister of Health of Iran stands for genocide. And I made that very clear to the Iranian government. A man who can save life and does not do is responsible for that life. We we done this, we done this together before. As I said, we went backwards this time. You all said you give it to the governments. I remember the shouts and howls and how many people abandoned Keshe Foundation. Why I gave the USB stick to the governments for two and a half years. Now, with the corona, I give it to you five months. You done, you got the statistic. Now we tell the governments it's our way. You did it first, and the government next. In a way, Keshe Foundation knowledge seekers govern. Because it's our life, it's our way of living. Any other question? Uh, yes, we've got some questions in the chat and in the Q&A. Pardon me, we couldn't hear you. I said you're very fussy. Well, audience, the clarity of your voice, Mr. Cash. It is. I think we create. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Any other question? Um, we have a question from Florin who said, for a long time, Mr. Kess, you've tried to talk with governments. Now for sure they have a different agenda, but why are you still trying to talk to these organizations? Because it's clear they do not care for their populations. How wrong are you? We talked to you for three months, showed you what to do. Now we gave to governments that they don't know that what the citizens are up to. I think a worker, a, a farmer in the villages of Iran knows more than the president how to save his life from Corona because he had to make the cup himself. This is the one hand over the most advanced nations in the world. Our knowledge seekers have more knowledge. In, in the villages of Iran, the way they are making ganses to save their lives, and the strangest thing is they are making it for their neighbors. One of them even took the governor of the state, he took it there, he says, you don't know, I brought it for you. We have a solid support in Iran for this technology. The only person we don't have is the Minister of Health and his what they call Mafia team in Iranian Health Ministry. For the monies they took to bring medicines which doesn't work and he flipped two weeks ago. We were looking for guinea pigs, the Iranians showed tens of thousands of them. We just opened a new chat opened up by the Keshe Foundation followers last week, is already reached 31,000 in that group. The original, which is still states to feed them back to it, has 21,000, 22,000. So on one Keshe Foundation, I have to forget about uh, Instagram and the rest of it. We're covering over 50,000 families groups, which they themselves now have created their own groups in Iran, how to do it. You got to understand, something very interesting is coming up, merging up. If this corona situation builds up in the next two months, the way we see across the United States, the United States will have as many unemployed people as the nation of Iran's total population of 80 million. And we are heading that way. Which president can refuse such a gift? When I was standing in the American Embassy with the head of the Keshe Foundation handing over to the American officials, she said, how can we refuse such a gift? It's their lives. It's the job of the American Cash Foundations to plaster it everywhere and confirm they have received. The president is ignoring the life of his citizens. In my message to His Eminence Azra Khamenei last night, made it very clear. Keshe Foundation, the Office of Iranian Leadership, and the Iranian scientists would speak one language. Peace, definition and development, and the spread of new technology, and forgetting about the old animosities. We set the scene and I requested from his own side directly to announce and declare the position in respect in our new technology and the friendship. We close our eyes to animosities of the past. We open our eyes to a new horizon, peace, sharing knowledge. what you call 
just wait one second. I have to find. I, if I find it, it's the talk of the present of God. Is given a press release. No, it's not. If you go on the internet, you should be able to pick it up and play it, and you see how, how, what you call, um, this is planned out. They planned out long, that's ahead of a state speaking, they planned out long duration of unemployment, they plan out long duration of no food transportation, bringing the nations on their knees to accept their control. They start to the start thing of a kingship, but now the head of state will be United Kingdom's queen or royal monarchy, and we all become the subject and the servants to their service. This is the bigger plan. And I'll tell you one thing, you decide. I think Gates has to be put up for genocide, and then humanity has to decide. Go the old way to execute him and the whole of his entourage, or we go the new way, we elevate their souls to be ashamed even to be human. For them to realize their fault. And then it depends on the souls and physicality. How they decide to take the body out of physical dimension or not. This is the beauty of the new technology, new understanding. We don't need to commit any crime. We did have a question from Tariq in the Q&A, um, who said, uh, Hello Rick, I was wondering what happens to a soul that commits suicide? I think Mr. Kesh talked about it, but I missed it. And I had answered, in my opinion, the soul doesn't and can't commit suicide because it can't die, but the physicality does. Um, but we can ask the question to Mr. Kesh. So, Maybe you could explain that a little bit more. What happens to that, to that soul part? And does the soul commit the suicide or is it the physicality? I think you just answered that actually. Maybe you can explain a bit more. What do you mean? What am I supposed to explain this time now? I answered all of it. Well, I guess the the point would be, is it the soul that um, that actually decides to end the life of the physicality? Or is it the physicality that takes its life because it's no longer maybe has no longer has that connection with the soul no longer uh, uh, you mentioned for example by elevating these leaders it'll uh, force them to to face themselves and to um, have remorse or some sort of you know um, emotion about the things that they've done um, that could lead them to, you know, taking their life that they didn't feel worthy to live or, or for whatever reason. So the soul's involved, but... It's we have to... Go ahead. We have to understand. We have to realize you are more powerful now with this knowledge than before.
we have to realize what are we expecting of life. And do we want to be a part that mankind can change? You see, there is a historical view, many of us know exactly what I'm talking about. We see it. 1990s, early 2000. We saw by Islamic rule putting a body in a grave, standing up and stoning it till death. Which stone kills the totality of one stone? Does the biggest question in this position is one of the loved ones takes position to his heart to stop the torture of the person which usually is done that way they can't see the loved ones being there and being stoned till they die with a painful life the way the Christ was put on the cross or we go the new way we let the body loose And we stop stoning it, we shower it with love and praise, and then let the body decide. Two different ways. I choose the second one. And then, maybe in that process, you elevate the soul, and the soul becomes aware of its own misconduct. Which way do we go? The old way, killing or elevating? And this is what one of the things that human race has to decide. We don't even need to elevate that the person leave the physicality. Most probably we elevate that the person become a better person to serve. It's the choice of the soul, not the man. And this is going to be very harsh for a lot of people. which way are we going to go? Do we need to go that way? Or do we get gradually to the point that we never get anyone in that level? I'm not idealistic, I'm not dreaming. I know the technology I brought. I know what it does, we've seen it. How people change with it. Families which is always been fight and war becomes the house of love and care. Same people. It's just now we understand the shortages in the structure of the soul which affects itself through the physicality. So, what do you want to do? Would you like me to give you a stone? Or would you like to throw some of your best love and see how love can kill? Kill the animosities, the hate, not the person. Now said that Arias, yeah. Ten years ago, and it's the same thing that's unfolding right now, exactly. Yep. This is the realistically, how can it be forecasted? You understand? I've seen that. Question to Mr. Kish. says, good day, Mr. Kish is from Herbert Boulder. Let's say I drink very good mixture of many different gas waters before the lunch. 
Would this plasma filled up to different ganses communicate with the elements in the food I eat? And will it release this field better to the body through the digestion process? I'm not in your stomach. I don't know what you mix and what you ate, if it's similar or something else. But in general, if you drink enough ganses, you have to write mixture, that's just the cans uh, water, you should be able to absorb many, many things. You will create a lot of energy and depends what your body needs. There is a very interesting proposition. I've been looking at it for some time. You know, if you lived in China, Chinese eat huge breakfast. I think they eat about five European, maybe ten Europeans, or what we call, if you know, the English Sunday breakfast is a bacon, egg, sausage, what do you call it, and everything else, and an all oily fat. I think Chinese eat that three times over every day. And then they have the same for lunch and the same for dinner. And they walk like a matchstick. And if you look at it, because they eat so much, but it has to work so much to burn the extra food that it goes to sleep. But would it be the same that if we drink too much of the ganses, body will take it, or as it's equal to what it needs, it just releases it. But would it need energy to get rid of the energy which is already digested? When we eat too much, we need more energy to burn it. Because if it's a natural food, body takes what it needs and rejects the rest. If it's synthetic and made of food, like God knows whatever we see fast food nowadays, is different. If you are based to live on the natural food near possible, your body only takes from it what it needs. Now that you bring gas as a mixture of all the energies, and then you put on top of it food with synthetic food, what's going to happen? The body is full. Now you put more things which the body puts for the storage. So, what happens? Would it add, or you already eaten, the can, you drank the gans, you took all the energies, now there it comes. The extra food, which is synthetic, what do you think is going to be absorbed and stored? If before you used at least 30% of the calories to digest it, now you put that 30 on top as well, because it already has energy. because the ganses have already provided it. Now the extra, which is synthetic, becomes 30% more fat. Any other question? But some one of the knowledge seekers years ago, or three, four years ago, he wanted to test. And every morning, he just rubbed his finger, the, the index finger, on the uh, amino acid of the uh, GANS box he was using. And he stopped building a very big belly. And he said, this is coming from the gamma sketch. It shouldn't happen. I said, you, it's you who's putting your finger in the pot, not me. 
He said, I wanted to know what's happening, but I'm getting fat like a pregnant man. I said, you made the decision. He wanted to see if he makes any difference. Just a touch of the amino acid. I said to him, you got a half moon belly, it's just getting there. <sighs> he says, sorry, it is gone now, it's corrected. Okay, many other questions. Um, speaking on taking energies from ganses, we do have a question in the Q&A from Balizdan Constantine. And it says, if mankind, by the desire to possess and be attached to the physicality, called um, this energy package called Corona, how will I take only some certain energy intensity from the package? If we accept the whole package, would we calcify ourselves? What? He is probably asking um, if we get in contact with the coronavirus. And um, the coronavirus as an energy pack carries a certain amount of information and feels strength. So can we choose what we take as energy package from corona, just part of the fields by themselves? Or if we accept the whole package, would we just calcify ourselves? Would we become stone? Don't know. Depends how and what energy they take in. Because if you match the calcification, if it's weaker, you drain it. But what would happen to the energy of the, what we call the surplus calcium energy? Would it, if you're a, it's a very interesting phenomenon in so many ways. Can we use, now that we understand the modification of the corona, is calcium effective development? that it creates calcium. If you, if you understand this, this is a fantastic knowledge. Because how many women, after the menopause, they get weakness of the hip? And now, if we can understand the process the way the uh, corona calcium calcification works and we can replicate it, we understand it, we're going to understand a lot about this. We can use this knowledge to help many, many old people who actually die of the fracture hip and they fall because of the prostate. As I said, uh, corona is not all bad. For the first time, it has shown us we can convert energies to matter in the body of the man, and it creates calcium. I've done this, and we have documentation on it. We have actually created the calcification of corona years ago. I'll tell you exactly when it is. It's June 2007. What we see with Corona to create calcification, we have done June 2007, uh, and it could be seen on the CT scan. One of the reasons we can handle Corona so directly is because of the cases we have processed in the past. Very easy, and it's in the report, because what we say is not just by, by what you call default, or just thinking we can do. We have a replication of it. 
We've done this before. We have created bones, we have created calcium, we have created muscle tissue. And if we understand this, that's why I can go and replicate the condition. We done it in 2007. We done it at that time, around 2007, 2008, 2009. The knowledge of producing materials is so complete with the work I did that is unbelievable. Now, 10, 20 years later, I start seeing it. You all, um, Rick, I need the opening of my Zoom. I can share, please, on the second line. Um, if you remember, I cannot share. And if you remember, when we did it the first time, it's with the damage which was caused which is caused by cancer then we have case with corona not corona with um, soft tissue of the bone and then we did a full muscle and bone decalcification in the blood and calcification in the bone. This is the hand. If you look at the tip of the fingers, they're abnormal. But the beauty with it is that here let me get my pen here in this part the blood vessels were full of calcium blocking the flow of blood and then in that process, going to fingers, all were blocked. So what happened, what you see here, as a flesh, there was no flesh here. We had a bone sticking here, and we could see the bones. You see it here, you see it on this finger, there's a slide in this one. But these two fingers, the bone was sticking out, we could see it. Flesh was gone because the calcification in this section stopped the flow of the blood, which came to gangrene. They were going to amputate the hand from here, and we could see the tip of the fingers, bones, and we could see the flesh. The technology I developed was so complicated that was doing two things at the same time. I was decalcifying here while setting another system, I was producing bone and flesh here. This was done in 2006. How do I reduce this? It doesn't take. Oh, we see it, that's why. But if you look, it's okay, we gotta go out and come back in again, I presume. We stop sharing and go back in again. Sorry, we're coming back in again. So, what it was, not decalcifying, 
the blood vessels here. They calcifying the blood vessels here and calcifying here in this section and building the bones and the tissues. We got about 10,000 pictures of this plus videos where you can see the bone sticking from the body out and part of it damaged. I'm building it back up. This is part of the structure to be able to be done. We can do it with the GANS technology. How we tailor make it. This hand belongs to the lady which we have grown a toe with. After amputation. Iranian citizen. So, if you have the knowledge, <coughs> While you're taking calcium up in one place, you put calcium somewhere else when it's needed. <coughs> this lady in 2006-2007 was faced with eminent, you can see it by the fingers, amputation. We had the same in Iran with Corona, one of the ladies was blocked calcification in the wrist and the blood vessels and they wanted to amputate. I said, give me time, give me time. The day, that day they wanted to amputate. And Maureen was here a minute. We asked for time, two or three cases in Iran. The knowledge is not coincidental, the knowledge is not accidental. <coughs> Everything in it is well tested. And I know this lady rather well, and as you can see in the background, she's wearing black. That is two years ago. And this process was done in 2006-2007. That's 12 years ago. Or, and it's permanent. And what you see in black, she's attended my father's funeral two years ago. That's why she's in black. So, knowledge is the only wealth worth for man keeping. The strangest thing is her brother died of the same disease. What we see in Corona with calcification in the heart and around the heart area, he died of the same. At any time, there are about 15 people around the world who carry this disease. It's one of the most rarest diseases, one of the rarest diseases mankind has. Conversion of the phosphor to calcium and the deposition of it between the tissues. When the doctors in the hospital in Belgium cut the body to do operations, when they were squeezing the muscles, calcium was coming out in the blood. She had waned her blood vessels where 
taken out in 2005 and they put the new plastic one. After two years, it was full of calcium again. And this time I wanted to amputate because they couldn't change it again. And it was so bad that the toe had to be amputated. And we said, just use the technology and within three months we rebuilt the toe. We rebuilt the body, we decalcified. She used to take a tablet called it's an aluminium base, it's about 40 pounds each a day. Now she doesn't take any. We got to them. We have no choice. We have the proposition to develop. Many, many women due to the cycle of menstruation go to um, osteoporosis, the weakness of the bone, losing soft tissue as they want to guarantee the survival of man by children they create and they pay with their lives later on. With this knowledge, now we can remedy those mothers. It's a painful condition for many of them. And now we see with this process, we would like to allow, actually, if it's left to us, we would like corona to affect the hip of the women of the older age. Because it calcifies, it makes it solid, it becomes exactly what we want. Can we die? Can we use it? All is not bad with Corona. It what knowledge we gain from it which counts, and what we see the opportunities. If you understand the work of the Corona, how he calcifies, and the speed he calcifies, would you like to stay with a broken arm for six weeks, or you just go and put a ring which has got the properties of the Corona? and you repair and mend the bone in three hours and you go home. It's calcification. What we see with a broken bone is very simple. Most of, the, most of us, we know. When you break your bone at a point of the breakage, it's not that it all becomes fine. What we see is that we get a bridge. This is the one which helps you. So if we can do this, and we can use your own urine to be part of it, uh, we can do this in a few hours. It's the knowledge. Any fear becomes a weakness, and weakness misleads man to doing the wrong thing. This is not all weakness. There's a lot of good news with Corona. If you understand classification, we know we can do it. This is not the theory. As you know, June 25th, 2010, I fell off a horse, broke eight ribs, and one, two of them in two places. I fell on a Thursday, 5.30, in the mountains of the east of Belgium. They came in coma until Monday. They transferred me to a new hospital. In a new hospital, I start using the technology. That's the Thursday. I go in the hospital on Monday. All the organs bleeding, the lung, the liver, because the bones went in, tearing apart. And the doctors put the chance of survival more or less to zero. I transferred in the hospital in Belgium, from the east to the west of Belgium, West Flanders. And the following Tuesday, actually the following Monday, the doctor told me, you have healed, we don't know, understand how. We keep you for two more days for observation, 
you can go home on Wednesday. You have no injuries. And I gave a lecture, five hours lecture, on Friday night in Willie Deleo's house for five hours to audience of Keshe Foundation knowledge series. In one week, I built 10 bones, stop all the bleeding using my technology. And when I went to get residency in Ghana two years ago, they wanted the X-ray of the, what do you call, the lung, and you can see the break points, but they're already they're stronger than before. <clears throat> These technologies we, we know, so we have used, and in a way we can produce cancer, what do you call it, bones, very easy. As you know, in 2009, I was poisoned to kill. First time round, by Dirk. Damaged my liver and pancreas. The doctor said this is cancer, we cannot stop the damage too extensive. It took me two months and I'm still here 12 years later. The technology, when it's needed, it can be used. But we have to understand how it is not all bad with Corona. Scientists understand it, calcification. We build a machine, you put your broken arm in your subplaster for six weeks, ten weeks, to stay in the machine for three hours, that's it, boom, here we go home. That's what Corona does. So we create a control corona at the point of the fracture of the bone. When we inject it now, if we know how to control it, that it creates bone in that position. How much suffering? You go for a ski, you break your leg, you go into the room, next morning you're back on the base. This is not the dream anymore. I've done 12 years ago to myself, all documented, well documented in the hospital. And now we see with Corona. How much we can save life, how much we can change life. This is what I call Corona dividend, now that we have developed a new technology to go to stop it but you don't have to run away from it. Would Corona bring higher order energies that we become more intelligent because of it? The new modification by Corona, which we say will come genetically, would it make us a stronger being in the depth of the space? We got to be real to understand. We got to, to comprehend without prejudice. How does Corona create calcification at the points it likes in the lung for all of us? So it has a common denominator with all of us. It does it in our brain. It does it somewhere else. And the new corona we see creates different calcification of energy transfer. At the moment, we see corona has moved from calcification to new dimension. It has mutated. We're looking for magnesium calcification, magnesium conversion. We're looking for metal conversion. Because this creature knows what it's doing, it's not anymore a virus, it's a creature. It is, in a way, a plasmatic creature which we didn't know. And if you think of it, how could so rapidly spread across this planet, so, so rapidly in all corners?
corona, the knowledge gained from it, what brings us has to become the strength for a man, not a point of fear and weakness. And this is the way I handle this from day one. I look at it, what does it teach me? How can I use his knowledge? How can I use his power? And that's why I move with it, because I've understood his energy, I understood his soul, I understand what he's up to, because in a way, I did not see it as a weakness, I saw it as a teacher. What does he teach me? What can I learn from it? And this is why we are so successful. 99.1% success rate. Ninety six percent plus success in reduction of cough, coughing, and fever. Your aspirin doesn't do that. And the beauty of it is, doctors give all the painkillers, and it doesn't work. None of the painkillers up to now has worked on Corona, except one, cash cans plasma, and response immediately. So we found a new painkiller. The head of cash foundation, has spent nearly 100 hours writing this report, completing it. And I think she can tell you a lot about it. How, as we understand it, for getting about hundreds of hours is put in by the Iranian knowledge seekers, putting the basic, basic knowledge I was getting a complaint from a bunch of Iranians that Dr. Asadi doesn't answer so much. Not as much as before, and it takes his time. Dr. Asadi closed his surgery for four months, saving lives of Iranians. Nobody picked up one up to thank him. And I thank him for his services to humanity. And they all called, yes. He had to go back and learn the living, otherwise he would have been on a corona base unemployment. From more or less beginning of March, he shot his surgery to serve humanity. 600 patients a day. Sometimes they answered. The same with Dr. Barakpur. These are unsung heroes of the Iranian Corona fight. The same with the rest of the Keshe Foundation team. They went from one infection to the other, they came back, they got infected, and they just took the ganses, nearly dying, and they're back on the track up and on it. We learned a lot. As I said, if you mix all the blood of the Keshe Foundation volunteers in Iran together, we have better serum than the Chinese and the rest of the world because we caught a whole lot of them in them. And they are the survivals with otherwise. But they catch it, the new version of it, because they already have a base attraction. We've seen, whatever we, re, we write, we've seen it in the Keshe Foundation team and the Iranian nationals who went through it. And there's a lot to learn. Huge amount of knowledge we can learn from Corona. We can send, spend centuries to understand the exact work of it.
Mamy koniec tłumaczenia na dzisiaj. Jeśli ktoś chciałby zabrać głos, to zapraszamy. Okej, okay, dzięki Jarku. To może skoro nie ma pytania i nic do dodania w tej chwili, to, to tradycyjnie e, streszczę tutaj te treści, które zostały poruszone. E, cały czas mamy ten temat e, publikacji. Był ten list, który zapraszał kraje do tego, żeby, e, żeby rozważyły opcję, która, która się pojawiła, która jest publikowana w tej publikacji, o której tutaj mowa i od początku była mowa o tym, że cztery kraje Chiny, Rosja, Stany, bodajże Austria dostały ten dokument, ten raport, publikację. Tu doktor Kesze mówi wręcz o takich stosowaniu trochę takich nacisków politycznych, że nawet dzisiaj to na warsztacie było opublikowane, gdzie ta wiadomość, że tego rodzaju raporty zostały wysłane do różnego rodzaju ambasad, czy zostały zaakceptowane, przyjęte przez różnego rodzaju urzędników, to też jest publikowane po to, żeby, żeby właśnie tworzyć pewnego rodzaju nacisk polityczny na to, że te informacje zostały przekazane. Jest to rozwiązanie, które może w pewien sposób uzdrowić obecną sytuację i ograniczenia związane z, z koroną, z wirusem i e, osoby, które są tego świadome. Zresztą jak słyszeliśmy, jeśli jesteśmy czegoś świadomi, jesteśmy za to odpowiedzialni, więc e, tutaj właśnie nacisk z tej strony, że rozwiązanie jest dostępne, leży na e, stole i nie jest akceptowane czy rozważane przez e, oficjali danych, e, danego kraju. E, są prowadzone negocjacje z Iranem, przez Iran mają być prowadzone negocjacje z innymi krajami odnośnie właśnie wprowadzenia tej technologii. Naukowcy też przewidują modyfikację DNA z powodu tego wirusa, ale przy tej technologii jednostkach wzmacniających także, tutaj doktor Kasza mówi o tym, że nie ma, że to zagrożenie w zasadzie nie istnieje przy użyciu tej technologii. Mówił też, wspominał coś o roślinie, która przez 5 miesięcy była w środowisku właśnie gansów, ale nie była w żaden sposób podlewana i nawet puściła kwiaty i chyba że dzisiaj gdzieś zdjęcie tej rośliny było prezentowane na warsztacie, czyli na kolejnym 336 będzie ono właśnie prezentowane. Nawet ta roślina puściła kwiaty w tym, w tym okresie, gdzie, gdzie nie była w ogóle podlewana. Mieliśmy też temat moczu. Doktor Kesze mówił, że jakby nie znamy składu soli, której potrzebujemy, używamy moczu, bo jest to gans, jest to, zawiera wszystkie sole gans wszystkich soli, które posiada nasz organizm i właśnie tak jak było na przykład gdzieś pamiętam w przypadku Naomi i tej, tej stopy śpiączkowej można powiedzieć, gdzie, gdzie, gdzie ta stopa upadała, tam też był problem właśnie ze, ze, ze zwapnieniem i właśnie była użyta mocz, był użyty po to, żeby tworzyć to środowisko, w którym można było ten, tego wapnia się pozbyć, przetransferować ich w pola. I jeśli chodzi o zaakceptowanie tego rozwiązania, to częścią negocjacji pokojowych ma być chociażby zniesienie blokad różnego rodzaju embarg gospodarczych na różne kraje, żeby właśnie prowadzić to, to wszystko w kierunku pokojowego środowiska, środowiska do jednej planety, jednego narodu, do czego dąży właśnie cały czas fundacja do tej równości i równego traktowania w relacjach także ty, tych między, między krajami. Jeśli chodzi o konsekwencje wirusa, to, to był podawany chociażby przykład dużego bezrobocia w Stanach czy w innych krajach i, i ten fakt chociażby ignorowanie dostępnego rozwiązania w świetle tak dużego kryzysu jest tutaj czymś, co, co doktor Kesze wytłuszcza. 
można powiedzieć słuchaczom tego wykładu. Jest też pytanie odnośnie kary, jak będziemy wymierzać kary tym liderom, czy będziemy to robić w starym stylu, czy być może pójdziemy z, z duchem i zrozumieniem tych nauk, czyli faktem, że możemy dodawać im do duszy, możemy ich elewować, możemy wznosić ich duszę i w ten sposób zamiast zamiast karania, zamiast tego, co mieliśmy do tej pory. Było też pytanie o karmienie plazmą, na co doktor Kesze mówi z jednej strony, że gałce nie można się przekarmić, bo ciało bierze tyle, ile potrzebuje, z drugiej strony, jeśli chodzi w odniesieniu do aminokwasu, czyli już nie do samego gansu, ale do aminokwasu, mówi o tym, że jakiś poszukiwacz wiedzy postanowił sobie codziennie robić taki eksperyment i maczał palec w aminokwasie i, i zaczął zaczął tyć, gdzieś tam się skarżył, że do doktora Kreszego, że, że żeby spojrzał na brzuch, który zaczął mu się gromadzić i wskazywał właśnie na, na ten fakt, ten eksperyment, który prowadzi właśnie z maczaniem palca w aminokwasie. Myślę, że tutaj dość takie kontrastowe zestawienie, ale z jednej strony mówimy o gasie, z drugiej strony mówimy o aminokwasie, więc aminokwas, który jest tym elementem budulcowym, jeśli Spojrzymy na to z tej strony, to te aminokwasy budują wszystkie białka, budują wszystko w zasadzie, co mamy w naszym organizmie, więc tu na poziomie fizycznym siła tego aminokwasu dość, dość mocna, dość znacząca, jeśli jest w stanie produkować, można powiedzieć, tylko z zamoczenia palca, jest w stanie produkować taką nadwyżkę tych wszystkich materiałów, które są w stanie odkładać się, czyżby w postaci na przykład tłuszczu, jak, jak widzimy w tym przypadku. Było też, był poruszony temat tego, że nie wszystko w koronie jest złe. Możemy użyć właściwości tego wirusa, sposobu, w jaki działa zrozumienia tego sposobu, aby na przykład pomagać kobietom przy, czy, czy przy osteoporozie, czy, czy innych tego typu problemach, gdzie pojawia się właśnie ta porowatość w kości, brak wapnia w kościach, a w przypadku korony mamy właśnie ten element zwapnienia, czyli można użyć zrozumienia tego procesu po to, żeby, żeby odwrócić takie warunki. I to jest coś, co tutaj też było prezentowane na tych zdjęciach. Doktor też mówi, że datował na rok około 2007, gdzie, gdzie znajoma jego rodziny miała zalepione wapniem żyły, to zatrzymywało do płytki krwi, traciła, traciła swój palec, a tam była mowa o wystających kościach, o tym, że, że robili jej zamieniali jej żyły, nie wiem jak ta, ta operacja się nazywa, ale zamieniali jej żyły na, na plastikowe. Wcześniej był też przypadek tutaj omawiany u tej samej kobiety. Duży palec, który tam był przetłumaczony, to chodziło o duży palec u nogi. I wtedy to jeszcze mówił, jak używali tego procesu właśnie z wapnienia, nadbudowy poprzez wapnie, żeby ten palec odbudował i mówił o tym procesie, że on został także dokończony, a to w przypadku tego, co działo się z ręką, tam była mowa o tych o 2005 roku, dwa lata wcześniej, gdzie ta kobieta miała wymieniane żyły na, na, na jakieś tam sztuczne, syntetyczne i te, nawet te syntetyczne żyły już po jakimś czasie zaczęły za, zalepiać się wapniem i kolejna operacja nie była możliwa, tam użyła amputacją gangreną, różnego rodzaju historami, ale tutaj, jak to też opisywał, zrobili taki ciekawy proces, gdzie w jednym miejscu tworzyli takie warunki, takie środowisko, że robili, pozbywali się, robili odwapnienie tego, gdzie, gdzie było za duże odwapnienie właśnie z żyła, jednocześnie w tym samym czasie kierowali, można powiedzieć, tą, tą energię czy, czy tą plazmę wapnia w taki sposób, że mieliśmy zwapnienie kości w miejscach, w których było ono potrzebne do, do odbudowy, czyli mieliśmy pewnego rodzaju transfer, wprowadzenie połączeń w tym systemie w taki sposób, żeby to, to gdzie jest nadwyżka, było zabierane i, i wypełniało miejsce tego tam, gdzie jest deficyt. I tutaj myślę, że też patrząc na to holistycznie, można sobie postawić jedno pytanie, co, co, robił, co robił ten organizm, że to nie było tylko warunku na przykład samej, samego zwapnienia, tylko gdzieś pojawiało się zwapnienie, a gdzieś by pojawiało się odwapnienie, czyli nawet na przestrzeni całego organizmu widzimy, że ta równowaga w pewien sposób istniała, gdzieś był nadmiar, gdzieś był niedobór, razem na przestrzeni całego organizmu gdzieś ta wartość, można powiedzieć, się balansowała, ale, 
akurat w tym przypadku i być może, że tutaj możemy też odnieść to do kubka życia, gdzie te połączenia, które są tworzone mają znaczenie. Widzimy tutaj, że odpowiednie ustawienie tego wszystkiego, całego tego, nazwijmy to systemem, czyli połączenie tych wszystkich tabelków, które reprezentują nam tutaj przepływ plazmy w różne, w różne strony, ukierunkowany przepływ plazmy, można powiedzieć, tak może jesteśmy w stanie wyrównać te, te procesy, które zaburzyły się na poziomie całego organizmu, bo nie potrzebujemy nawet w tym przypadku wprowadzać niczego z zewnątrz, tylko wystarczy, że przekierujemy tam, gdzie jest nadmiar, do, do miejsca, gdzie mamy właśnie deficyt tego materiału. Kolejnym przykładem tego, że Dość, dość szybko w, w, przy użyciu tej technologii doktor Kasza opisywał swój wypadek na koniu, gdzie, gdzie spad tego konia wylizał się przy użyciu tej technologii, miał tam e, wiele połamań i mówił o tym, że w ciągu tygodnia odbudował 10 kości i e, te narządy wewnętrzne, które, e, które krwawiły. E, no i na koniec myśmy tutaj jeszcze statystyki używania gazu przy broniu właśnie w tej publikacji i to w zasadzie wszystko, jeśli chodzi o omówienie tego fragmentu. Dzięki. Dzięki Przemku. Jest ktoś, kto chciałby zabrać głos? Jeśli nie ma, to kończymy na dzisiaj. To były 378 warsztaty poszukiwaczy wiedzy w języku polskim z czwartku 9 lipca 2020 roku. Tak więc spotykamy się w niedzielę i do usłyszenia. Nadszedł czas zmiany, przejścia do prawdziwego działania Wszechświata. I nadszedł czas, aby zrozumieć, że używamy stanu materii, by osiągnąć poziom zrozumienia duszy człowieka. Teraz rozumiesz, być może, dlaczego Kreator wysłał swoich posłańców w imię tego, co miałeś. To oni przynoszą uszy, aby można było ich użyć, gdy nadejdzie czas Mesjasza. Mogę nauczyć duszę i przesłanie. Nie by się przeciwstawiać, ale poprzez ich zrozumienie przez tych, którzy stali się Mesjaszami, aby dawać ze swoich dusz, aby ich elewować. Zadanie stało się łatwe. Szkoła jest tutaj i uczniowie są tutaj w oddaniu. Wtedy nie będzie żadnej walki między tym, co nazywają muzułmanami a chrześcijanami. Baranek i lew będą jeść i spać w tym samym gnieździe. Chrześcijanie i muzułmanie będą spać i modlić się w meczecie, w tym samym kościele, w imię ich dusz, nie w imię religii, które są używane do tworzenia tak wielu konfliktów. 
dla korzyści tych, którzy byli hiperaktywnymi dziećmi. Nadszedł czas. Czas zmian jest tutaj. I jak powiedziałem, moje życzenie jest moim rozkazem. Jeśli pragniesz ujrzeć pokój, droga pokoju jest wyłożona bardzo wyraźnie. To dusza świadomości zbiorowej. Poprzez dawanie stworzy tą pozycję zmiany. Nic innego. W duszy człowieka nie ma długopisu. Jestem pewien, że po wejściu do społeczności uniwersalnej nigdy nie zobaczysz niczego zapisanego, ale równowagę pól duszy egzystencji. Staraj się być na tyle pokornym, aby nie stać się aroganckim w mocy, którą zrozumiałeś i posiadłeś. Inaczej wpadniesz w tą samą ścieżkę kościoła i meczetu. To jest to, co obiecaliśmy i to właśnie dostarczyliśmy. Musimy zrozumieć działanie duszy i musimy zrozumieć, że dusza człowieka jest gwiazdą w kosmosie Wszechświata. Jeśli porównamy duszę człowieka i tak wielu nas, 7 miliardów w jednym zbiorze, Ziemia jest jak galaktyka z tak wieloma gwiazdami. Kiedy patrzymy w głąb Wszechświata, widzimy galaktyki z setkami milionów gwiazd. Podobnie jest z planetą Ziemią. Niesie 7 miliardów pięknych gwiazd, które są duszą człowieka. Niesie z sobą duszę tak wielu trylionów zwierząt, roślin i wszystkiego innego. Jeśli więc patrzą ci, którzy nie widzą fizyczności Ziemi, i jej zawartości, co widzą? Widzą galaktykę z wielką ilością pięknych, świecących świateł. Każda według swojej siły. Każda zgodnie ze swoją pozycją. Niemowlę ma piękną duszę, podobnie jak staruszek. Dla tych niefizycznych, którzy nie widzą fizycznego wymiaru tej planety, ale widzą siłę pola, jesteśmy gromadami gwiazd. Ludzka rasa, każda pojedyncza dusza, nikt z daleka nie widzi. To jest dusza rybaka, to jest dusza kosmologa, to jest dusza prezydenta. Wszystkie świecą bez względu na fizyczność. To jest magia. O to, co nowa nauka musi przynieść człowiekowi. Kiedy patrzymy przez naszą duszę, widzimy tylko gwiazdy w innych duszach. I to jest przełom, to jest zrozumienie. Na tym właśnie polegają te wszystkie nauki. Dojście do dojrzałości następnego poziomu, aby zrozumieć daleki kosmos. Wszechświat jest ostrygą dla tych dusz, które służą. Wtedy człowiek jest gotowy do wejścia w kosmos. Wtedy człowiek jest gotowy, aby stać się częścią uniwersalnej społeczności, która została obiecana. Nigdy nie obiecywałem wam nieba. Zawsze obiecywałem wam elewację człowieka, aby przyłączył się do rodziny. A teraz macie klucz. To wy musicie otworzyć drzwi, aby zrozumieć, że mogę elewować duszę tych ludzi lub milionów innych dusz, że fizyczne życie na tej planecie zmieni się. Wtedy jestem godny bycia częścią społeczności uniwersalnej, by być, aby służyć, aby się rozwijać, by być tam, aby być częścią, że w cyklu życia wszechświata 
staje się w byciu częścią, staje się częścią totalności. Kiedy człowiek osiągnie ten punkt, pojawi się nowy wymiar w sile duszy człowieka, który jest poza wyobrażeniem zrozumienia życia fizycznego. To jest brama do otwarcia nowego życia w nowym wymiarze, co jest poza wyobrażeniem tego, co mogliście nazwać nowym początkiem, nowym cyklem, gdzie ten cykl niesie ze sobą źródło stworzenia życia we wszechświecie i unikosie. To jest elewacja duszy, aby służyć. Stała się kluczem. Nie tron życia fizycznego. Czas jest odpowiedni. Nadszedł czas, aby człowiek przeszedł przez ten proces.